Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. All the support you've given us has helped us on our mission to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. And we wanna thank you for that, so thank you. Now, let's begin. When you were younger, did you ever think that you'd be where you are now? There's no shame in admitting that you still haven't achieved everything you wanted for yourself yet. Sometimes life just doesn't work out as planned. But even when you know that it isn't your fault, and that there are parts of life you can't control, you might still find yourself feeling bad and frustrated. Whether it's because you're comparing yourself to others or feel like you're falling behind, like many others, you might be guilty of being too hard on yourself for not measuring up. But sometimes when you focus too much on how far you are from your goals, you may end up forgetting how much you've actually already overcome. So with that said, here are eight signs to reassure you that you are doing much better than you may be giving yourself credit for. Number one, you know what you want. Where do you see yourself in five years down the line? While you might not have everything planned out and your vision of your future might be a bit blurry, it's a good sign if you know what you want. Oftentimes people can spend their entire lives confused about what they want to do or what kind of person they wanna be. So as long as you know what you want, it's as good a stepping stone as any to working towards it. Number two, you value your relationships. Do you cherish the people around you? As screenwriter Richard Linklater once wrote, when you're young, you're naive enough to believe that there's going to be so many people out there you're going to connect with. But later in life, you'll realize it only happens a few times. So if you're lucky enough to have people in your life who truly love, accept, respect, and care for you, don't let them go. Showing your loved ones that you recognize and appreciate your relationship with them takes a lot of self-awareness and maturity. So if you do take the time to do it, then you're likely doing better than you think you are. Number three, you hold yourself accountable. Have you ever blamed someone for something you've done? Knowing how to take responsibility for your actions, especially when things go wrong, is something a lot of people struggle with. Sometimes it can be a lot easier to pin the blame on someone else or to just complain about how unfair everything is. But if you know, or at least are learning, how to hold yourself accountable for the choices you've made that led you to where you are now, then congratulations. You have more self-awareness and emotional maturity than most other people. Number four, you want fewer material things. Do you have a need to get the latest and most expensive product on the market? Another sign that you're doing better than you think you are is if you can appreciate the right things in life. There are many people who believe that material possessions can define your happiness and success and have a habit of buying and hoarding a lot of things they don't actually need. However, while these things may make you happy for a little while, they'll find that it doesn't compare to true friendship or relationships that you have to work and build towards to bring you the most joy and happiness. Number five, you don't sweat the small stuff. Are you quick to raise your voice when someone makes a mistake? Though it's understandable for us to get upset from time to time about certain things, it's a sign that you're doing better than you think if you're able to manage your temper and take it easy on yourself when you mess up. Instead of dwelling on what you should have said or what you could have done, you move on and focus on the good more than the bad. And because of this habit, you're more likely to feel happier and more at peace with yourself. Number six, you're grateful for what you have. Do you take the time to really appreciate the things you have? It's easy to be pessimistic and to always focus on the things you want. Perhaps it's chasing after your dream job or wanting to become a professional at something. However, while it's good to look forward to your goals and dreams, it's also important to cherish the people you're with and the things you have right now. After all, you don't wanna be like someone who buries their head in their work until they've achieved their goals, only to realize and regret how they missed out on the important moments along the way. The truth is, Pessimism comes naturally to us human beings. It's in our nature to always be thinking that the glass is half full, since stress and anxiety can help us adapt to difficult situations faster, which just makes it all that more impressive when we go against our nature and choose positivity instead. It's not easy being an optimist, but hey, you're grateful for what you have. You know how lucky you are and you're immensely thankful for everything good that comes your way, be it big or small. What a wonderful mindset to have. Number seven, you learn from your failures. Are you able to move on from your mistakes or do you tend to stay stuck on them? Whether it's beating yourself up for your shortcomings, hating yourself for your flaws, or feeling so afraid of failing that you don't give yourself the chance to try, 
it is easy to be paralyzed by fear and to let those mistakes define you and your future. So it's definitely a sign of strength if you can choose the healthier way of coping, which is to learn from your failures so you can improve on yourself. In the words of the late, great Maya Angelou, you do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, you do better. It's as simple as that. And number eight, you strive for continuous improvement. Do you always look for ways to work on yourself and be better? For that alone, you should be proud of yourself. Striving for continuous improvement is already such an achievement in and of itself because it shows that you're humble enough to admit that there are certain things about yourself and your life that you need to improve on. There are so many people who feel stuck, trapped, and unable to break their cycle of self-destructive behaviors because they stop trying to seek personal growth. But no matter how old or how much you've accomplished, it's always important to continue to do your best and push yourself to be better than you were before. Has this list made you realize that you're actually doing much better than you first thought you were? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.